What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Showtime is Blazer King, and we're here to check out the Firefly trailer. Honestly, I really do wish they'd upload it the same day as the banner is already up, so that way I can do this and then do the rolls at the same video. But it's never that convenient, is it? Anyway, we're gonna check this out. You know, give our live opinions and all that stuff as per usual. Sure, I'm not a very reactive person. But at least I do have good conversations about the video when we're done half the time. So, let's check this out. And I'll ask, of course, if all the normal questions of what are you going to pull at the end. Requesting reinforcements. I repeat, requesting reinforcements. Forward, forward. Reinforcements. I repeat, requesting reinforcements. Siege unit has lost signal. Strike unit will engage target. We're under fire. Darn it. Is the experimental weapon ready yet? Darn it. There's a lot of topic about, uh, on. There was a lot of talk on that, too, about the bounties that they all had. That Firefly's the second highest, but Kafka, still at the top. Which, honestly, kind of tracks for a lot of stuff with this game, though. Like, Kafka's still one of the best pure DOT users. Kafka's still one of the hottest mommies. Kafka's still... Kafka... Blazer. To burn to ashes is the honor of Clamont's Iron Cavalry. Like destiny, it cannot be defied. But before that, I still have the right to choose. I like how beautiful the cinematic is. I'm not just talking about the whole nudity aspect, because it's the, more so the way they, you know, cover it without it being really dumb looking like a lot of things do. Okay, no, but I also want to see all the pictures that get uploaded about connecting Sam to, like, anime Max, and I do get it. I get it a lot. Okay, now I get why somebody in a group I'm part of asked why there was a bandage on her face, because it was, like, literally right after that fight that we met up with her. Supposedly. Like, that's what the animation is trying to go for. I know that's not actually the case, but... But that was really nice to get a look into, you know, more on how she's feeling now instead of the stuff from the past. When she was part of the Glamoth's Empire and all that jazz. Because now we actually get to see, you know, Firefly as the Stellaron Hunter and, you know, the one who's hopeful for her future. 
instead of just anticipating the script to finish. Because I imagine more of that plotline is going to be revealed later. But I do imagine the script is only like plot device, obviously, to the whole after her three death situation. That doesn't mean that she's actually going to end up dead. That just means the Stellaron Hunters might be done with her. So maybe she'll come over to our side. I know that's what a lot of the community is thinking based on what happened during the you know, second to last bit of Panacani there, but... And like, I could go ahead and theorize all the shit that's going to go down with the story mode tomorrow, but I figure I'll leave that for later. For now, you can let me know your opinions on what you think will go down with the story, and who are you pulling for? Are you pulling for Firefly or Ruanme? Are you waiting until Jade or Argenti? Are you waiting in the future for Jaroku or... J Jaroquan? I think that's it. Because honestly, I might break my waifu only thing for him if he actually is an ability healer. But we're not 100% confirmed on that yet. So I suppose that will wait for the time being. I will get back with my polls either tomorrow or later today on the channel. Pretty sure tomorrow because I'm pretty sure the banner isn't up until fucking midnight like usual. Because why not make America people happy, huh? Um, but yeah, that's all my thought process on that. Let me know your thoughts on Firefly's future within the story as well. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, subscribe to the review channel. Yeah, review channel in the description down below. Ring bell, bells, like Facebook, culture, keep updated with things. TikTok, Patreon, and of course, go follow Twitch, subscribe for benefits. You can do so with Twitch Prime for free. It helps me a lot more than subscribing here on the Poopy Butthole platform known as YouTube. But hey, I am still trying to make it to that point of partner on one of these channels before, you know, expiration. That of all being said, spend the Blaze of King. Wishing you all good luck on your polls. Ta-ta for now. Peace. And now, a word from our sponsor. Punking is hard. Anyway. Dubby is another alternative to your traditional energy drinks, Monster, Rockstar, etc, etc, etc. The person in charge is apparently a much nicer guy than that of G Fuel. And the taste, honestly, might be a little bit better in some ways. So, if you want cool shakers, which the waifu shaker is not currently available, but they might bring them back one day. Some great flavors. And because I am an expert at this, I totally didn't read first. We got Beach and Peach, Dub Slide, and Dragonade. Honestly, sound pretty good. Haven't tried these three. I have tried one so far. <clears throat> Don't remember what exactly that was, but it was a really good flavor. And I'm just really bad at drinking these things that I'm supposed to be drinking to feel better. Now, if you want to feel better instead of drinking just plain old water or some energy drinks that aren't good for you or supporting somebody that is not that great, don't forget to use my code, the Blazer King, right here. And, well, I think I have one more sponsor for you. Mm -hmm.